Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime and we've been asked to multiply. Um, take a look down here. You're going to see that I have the expression, expression not equation because I have no equal sign, 5x times 3x. Now I'll just remind you that when two things are shoved together, like in this case 5 and x are, or uh, 3 and x, same thing shoved together, they are also multiplying. So another way to read this, I mean yes, you can read it as 5x times 3x, but this is 5 times x times 3 times x. Those are like four numbers multiplying. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, multiply in the order that suits me. Because remember, when things are just multiplying, you can multiply in any order you want. And it suits me to deal with the coefficients, the numbers out front first. So I'm going to multiply those together. 5 times 3 is, of course, 15. Now, actually, let's write that underneath instead of to the right. So 5 times 3 is 15. Now, I have two numbers that I haven't yet multiplied by. x and x. x and x. Now, guys, careful. A lot of students will just tell me, that's 15x. Yay, I'm so done. But careful, I don't just have one x here multiplying. I have two. One, two x's multiplying together. Let's think about what happens when you have the same number multiplying together twice. Now I'm going to come do it as some side work because I want to think about it with regular numbers before I deal with variables. So like let's think about um, 3 times 3. Now you might say, well, Kate, 3 times 3 is 9. Yeah, that's true, but it's also true that another way to write 3 times 3 is as 3 squared. Remember that we can use exponents to talk about repeated multiplication. So exponents tell us how many times the same number is multiplying. Same thing if you had like, oh, I don't know, 5 times 5. You could write that as 5 squared. So even though, like 5 times 5, you know it's 25. 3 times 3, you know it's 9. So you guys don't usually write it this way. However, x times x... Since x is a mystery and you don't know what it's equal to, you can't go all the way to the simplified number answer. But you can use this idea that exponents mean repeated multiplication. x times x is the same as x squared. And so I'm not just going to write an x here. I'm going to write 15x squared. What does this mean? This means a 15 shoved up against x squared, so multiplying with 2x's multiplying. That's literally what that means. It means 15 times x times x, and we uh, write it shortly as 15x squared. All right, now this is the final answer. Don't be that foolish student who's like, I have to figure out what x is. Yeah, this is a expression, not an equation. I don't have, you know, two sides with an equal sign on the other side, so I can't figure out what x is. All I can do is the math that I can do, the multiplication I can do, and then walk away. This is done. 15x squared is the simplified answer. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.